Good evening everyone. So I welcome you all in my channel that is we are in techno world. So uh, like if, first of all if you have not subscribed to this channel then first of all you just subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you could get uh, new lectures into it and uh, like if you like this video then do comment in the below comment box right. So in today's topic like I would discuss that how to find intervals for any of the equation in case of numerical analysis right for example in case of CVNST if we talk about uh, like the number of equations then we are having many kind of algebraic equation okay so uh, now the question arises that how to find intervals because in case of like each and every method just like you would learn bisection method iterative method regular falsi method secant method so in each and every method what we are doing in case of uh, like computer based numerical statistical technique so in case of each and every method we are just trying to find out the approximate root okay so to find out the approximate root first of all we must know that what are the intervals in which we have to find out the approximate root so for example if the intervals are not given then must know that how to do it okay so first of all I'll tell you that like manually or with the help of numerical how to do it and after that like I'll tell you like how to write one C program for it okay because uh, obviously with the help of computer program as well we could find out the intervals for any of the equation so now move forward on to the solution so uh, like for example let us suppose we are having one equation that is f of x equals to x cube minus 4x minus 5. This is one equation, right? And uh, let us suppose you have to find the intervals between one range and the range is just like 0 till 1, right? So that means you are having the range, you are having the value of x that is from 0, 1, Two till 10 this is the range which you are having for x right now if we want to find out the intervals just like whether the approximate root lies between 2 comma 3 whether it lies between 0 comma 1 right so these kind of intervals we just try to find out okay so first of all there is one rule there is one rule that like the approximate root or you could say like in each and every method root one root always lies between a negative or a positive number right a root always lies between a negative or a positive number between a negative or a positive number or it could be vice versa means the number could be means uh, in the first case you could get positive number or a negative number okay so a root means the intervals which we would get would always lies between a negative or a positive number right so uh, first of all we would put the value for x right so our equation is x cube minus 4x minus 9 now first of all we just put the value that is f of 0 so what would we would get just try to find out so it would be 0 cube minus 4 into 0 minus 9 what we would get we would get we would get minus 9 this is the value uh, like if we are putting 0 in this given equation right now uh, like you just put the another value for x that is 1 now what we would get just try to find out 1 cube minus 4 into 1 minus 9 that means it would be 1 minus 4 minus 9 what we would get minus 12 okay so if we are putting 1 into this equation then the answer would be or you could say the interval would be minus 12 
done now uh, like as we are getting uh, like both the numbers are negative that means the root can't lie between these two intervals that is 0 comma 1 right now we would move forward right why we are moving forward because till now we haven't got any kind of intervals right hame abhi tak koi intervals yahan par mile hi nahi hai right agar aap answer dekhe in case of 0 we are getting a negative number hame yahan par ek negative number mil raha hai and in case of 1 if we are putting then we are getting again one negative number so obviously we would move forward hame yahan par aage badh ke dekhenge like we would put one another value that is f of 2 right now it would be 2 to the power 3 minus 4 into 3 minus 9 it would be 8 minus 12 minus 9 so what i would get it would be 8 minus 21 right so what would be the answer it would be minus 13 right it would be minus 13 2 to the power 3 that is 8 then it would be minus 12 then it would be minus 9 okay after that what you just again it's a negative number again it's a negative number okay now what you do just put one other value that is 3 that is 3 okay so now it would be it would be 3 cube minus okay what i have did oh i just put 3 over here it would be 2 it would be 2 4 into 2 so that would be 8 okay so 8 minus 8 so that means the answer would be minus 9 it would be minus 9 right because i have put over here that is 3 so that is why the answer was uh, obviously wrong that means if we are putting 2 over here then obviously we would get one negative value that is minus 9 right now uh, like as you could see in case of 0 we are getting a negative number in case of 1 we were we were getting minus 12 again it's a negative value in case of f of 2 we were getting minus 9 that is a negative value that means and uh, like if we would put f of 3 then what we would get 4 into 3 minus 9 it would be 27 minus 12 minus 9 that means 27 minus 21 minus 21 that means now the answer is in positive number right it's it is positive 6 right now we could say uh, like as we are getting one negative number and after that if we are moving forward then we are getting one positive number that means now we could say that the root lies between 2 comma 3 right we would not take the values which we are getting right values we are just trying to find only that uh, whether we are getting one negative or a positive number or vice versa of it right and if yes that means if the condition is true that means the like obviously the condition would be stopped and after that we would take the intervals right so the intervals are for this equation the intervals would be 2 comma 3 right so uh, like the intervals for this equation the intervals for this equation would be 2 comma 3 right so just like that we could find out the intervals for any of the equation if it is not given in any of the equation okay as i have told you that the approximate root or you could say the root always lies between a positive or a negative number or just uh, like uh, you could say the vice versa of it okay so just like that you just try to solve some other questions as well okay so thank you so much